Welcome to a windy and very hot Dubai. Temperature outside at the moment is 43 degrees C. So I thought I'd just give you a quick update on, on what we've done on the big boat, you know, Dubai Coronet. The previous video was about the fast boat, where we were with that. But a lot of the viewers know I've got a, this old, I think it's 48 year old um, Coronet motor yacht now, 44 feet around uh, 16 tons, which um, I try and keep alive. So this is just a quick video. We've been doing a lot of work on her over the last six months. We had a termite problem, then we had a water problem, and we're, we're gradually fixing all of those. And now we're doing a big upgrade as well. So we'll talk about that. And let's, let's have a walk around and then go inside. The first thing you can see up there is we put just over four kilowatts of solar and a new sunshade. And part of the refit is to get the storage batteries installed and be living, being able to at least run one AC off grid, so to speak. Just see up the top there on the front of the mast, we've actually put an Echo Max radar reflector. Um, so hopefully, yeah, we'd be seen by all commercial traffic now. The, the small little ones that they sell in the Chandlery, the triangular ones, and then the, the ones that look like a long cone or long pole, apparently don't work very well. And these ones really do do well. They've been um, tested around the world and proved to give a, a really good uh, signature when the when the um, I think it's X-rays come off the radar and they pick you up. So very very useful. We did have some trouble on this side deck, a couple of cracks in the deck, which I neglected to fix quickly. It's actually a GRP honeycomb deck, um, but water got through it, got down to the um, bearers below that were wood, and guess what, rotted them away. So if you have a crack in your deck, fix it quick. Otherwise it's gonna take a lot of time and sometimes money to repair. As you can see now, we had to remove the whole deck. You can see in this sequence where we were locating where the sort of cross, cross members are. And then we ripped it all out. We replaced it with an aluminium subframe and then replaced the deck. So yeah, wasn't really a difficult job. Uh, it was a bit time consuming and the great thing on boats this age is you can do that. On the starboard side deck we had a smaller problem. Um, luckily we caught it in time. You can see the shots now as I'm, I'm talking. You know, so yeah, get it early and you can fix it early and you don't have to go and take out the whole deck. That's the moral of the story, as I just said. So you can see here, this was another leak point which went unnoticed because there's cupboards there and really that's you're going to see what that's resulted in quite sh quite shortly but we've we fixed it now we cut it all back we put carbon fiber in we use carbon fiber for all the repairs um there's a reason for that is because i've got lots of it and i get it fairly cheaply and i make epoxy resin so that now is completely watertight i guess for another 50 years we did the same on the other side so you can see up, up on the screen now just what we were dealing with. Anyway, it's all been repaired. We had down here at the back of um, where the sink used to be, um, water seeping into the boat again. That went into the bathroom and we had to replace all of the roof there and carbon fiber it. Um, and we ripped the seat out that was here. And what we've replaced it with, you can't see it at the moment, but that is a nice big um, pull out fridge. Uh, our objective is really to stop having loads of cool boxes on the back deck when we go out and have a lot more space. One thing we did fit um, last summer was this fan um, which can cool the whole of the back deck. Um, we are planning to put some more fans on during our upcoming refit but that we can operate that off a power pack and it really makes a difference when you're sitting out at somewhere like say the World Island or one of the dive sites. 
Here's the forward washroom. You can see some pictures of what it was like just coming up now. But as you can see, it looks, um, well, I was gonna use a rude word that, that we use in England, but it looks really good. So very pleased with that. As you can see, all replaced, future proofed. It'll last longer than it was originally designed for. So very happy with that. Very happy with the way that came out. This is the galley. Again, everything was removed. The under the deck was carbon fibered. And now we've replaced the heavy um, panels that we had in on the roof with just laminate stuck in with VHP tape. And it really has done, done the job. We are going to finish it all off right at the end with nice wood trim all the way around where you can see those little gaps but we're leaving that until we've finished all of the work so then it'll look pucker but everything you see here right in front of you has been replaced we were very lucky to find a similar laminate but you can see now some of the shots of, of the work that's gone into this on this side same on this side everything taken out um, back to GRP carbon fibered and then rebuilt so better than new in my opinion the, the, the galley is a bit scruffy at the moment because we're you know we've just started uh, a, a major works so a refit on the boat and we're also um, in midstream of doing the salon at the same time this is all covered up at the moment again you'll see some footage in a minute before we covered up but all these frames were replaced all and then all carbon fibered and you can see in the salon now we've ripped the whole ceiling out and we've started to carbon fiber epoxy carbon fiber the whole sub um, stub deck or soffit of the deck above on the flybridge and we need to replace here three beams which had water damage yeah no termite damage this far forward it was water damage but again three beams have got to go in you can see the cutouts there one two three it's going to take us a couple of weeks before we finish all of this but you know again there's some shots of you know what it looked like immediately after we ripped the ceiling out so here's the rear heads or the master bath uh, stateroom heads and again we've replaced everything you'll see some shots of work in progress and what it was like coming up now Yesterday rain coming and uh, this is a bedroom bathroom. I think at this point uh, uh, leakage, maybe water coming inside. So I'll check out. So all set uh, good sir. Only this is water coming. But again, nice and solid. Um, you'll notice we've also upgraded our lighting systems to LED, which we'll do throughout the boat. We'll upgrade the, the lights as we replace the ceiling. So there you go from a very sorry looking coronet. So yeah, we've done quite a bit of work. Um, up in the next video I will do just um, explaining what the, the big refit we're gonna do is you'll, you'll be seeing regular videos on that as it progresses over the next four to six weeks um, but I'm hoping once that's all done we're gonna have a an even better Dubai Coronet so if you like the vi video please you know what to do press the thumbs up if you didn't like it press the thumbs down I think YouTube love it all if you've not subscribed please subscribe and stay tuned for more Dubai Coronet footage